Hi everyone, I'm meteorologist Mike Witcher. Thanks for checking out your morning update to your daily forecast. Now the rain's finally here, which is nice news to pass along. A very soggy and damp start to our Tuesday morning, uh, but the rain's going to stick around for just a little bit longer throughout the day today. The wind does relax as we get into the evening. It's going to be overcast gray, some light drizzle, maybe it's a little bit of light rain on Wednesday. Not a big deal there, just overcast. And then sunshine does return for Thanksgiving Day. So getting everyone out the door here this morning, we start off nice, quiet, mild, and wet with temperatures in the 50s by noon. Yeah, showers sticking around and we're going to warm into the low 60s. Still have that high wind warning. It's been extended until 4 o'clock here this afternoon. Wind advisory until 10 o'clock this morning across the plateau and into the mountains of North Carolina. So some still some very strong winds, but like I mentioned, the wind will begin to relax as we get into the evening and through the overnight hours. But it is going to be a rather breezy and gusty day, again, especially across the mountains. You can see those dark shades of reds and browns across the highest peaks, some of those being transferred down to the surface, uh, so i.e. down toward closer to Teleco Plains, Maryville, Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg, Newport, uh, into Greene County as well. So if you live in those mountain counties or if you're visiting, just anticipate some pretty strong winds. On the future cast, the rain's going to be with us. Cold fronts start to slide its way on through right around lunchtime or so. And then the winds begin to shift from the southwest to the northwest. Rain showers lingering through about 3 or 4 o'clock here today and then exiting through the evening hours. And that's going to give us an overcast evening, but at least a dry evening. Rainfall amounts are going to be anywhere from about three quarters to an inch and a half, maybe a few pockets of two inches in some locations. Uh, we'll see how that all plays out. Lighter rain right along the foothills thanks to some downsloping winds. That's a warming, drying air, and so that shuts down the rainfall. So not as much rain expected across the mountain counties. Temperatures this afternoon top out in the low to mid 60s, so slightly above average for this time of the year. And a nice evening with the rain coming to an end and temperatures in the 50s. If that's all you need to know, we sure hope you have a great day. If you are traveling around the region, let's take you to the regional picture for just a moment as we track the cold front as it slides its way off to the east. Again, uh, if you can hold off till about noon to 2 and you're traveling west on Interstate 40, you'll be doing much, much better. If you're traveling east on 40 over to North Carolina, heading into Virginia, even South Carolina, or even southern Georgia, you'll be chasing the cold front. So you're likely to hang on to the rain showers just a little bit longer. If you are traveling, we sure hope you have a wonderful and safe Thanksgiving, so be safe for sure. And thanks for checking out your updates to your daily forecast. I'll see you back here later on this afternoon.